Former President Trump's campaign countering the DNC in full swing today. He's barnstorming through North Carolina with his running mate, J.D. Vance, in the battleground blitz this week. We got Grady Trimble live at the rally in Ashboro, North Carolina, with the latest. You know, Grady, this is the President Trump's first outdoor rally since he was shot in Pennsylvania, right, Grady? I mean, it looked like security was really tight and he was protected by bulletproof glass. Yeah, exactly, Liz. There was bulletproof glass in front of and behind the podium where both he and Senator J.D. Vance spoke. That reflects the changes that the Secret Service have made since that attempted assassination in Butler, Pennsylvania. I actually had a chance to speak with the former president uh, uh, after the event. He seemed in good spirits, didn't seem phased by being uh, back to outdoor rallies. And the big news that was breaking today while he was speaking was that RFK Jr. could drop out of the race potentially by the end of this week. I got his reaction to that. Have you spoken to him in the last 24 hours? No, I, haven't. You... I haven't, but I respect him. I've respected him for a long time. I mean, I know where he's coming from, and it's a little different philosophy. Very smart guy, however, and uh, I had heard he was thinking about it for a period of time, but no, I have not heard this, what you're telling me. He's going to be in Arizona on Friday. Would you have him on stage with you at your rally? Well, I think I'm going to be there on Friday. We have a big crowd. I would always be honored to. I mean, if he endorsed me, would I be honored by that? Absolutely. And we'll be in Arizona on Friday as well, Liz, so we'll see what happens. Uh, we're expecting RFK Jr. to make an announcement about the fate of his campaign, we'll see if that means he drops out of the race, which, of course, as you know, former President Trump, the polling show, stands to gain more from that than Vice President Kamala Harris. So see, uh, stay tuned for that. In the meantime, I also asked the former president about a bit of a controversy on the Internet. He posted some images of Taylor Swift that were AI generated. And then there were, the Internet was all a buzz that Trump's going to get sued over those images. Listen to this. Are you worried you're going to get sued? That are, are you worried that Taylor Swift is going to sue you? I don't know anything about them other than somebody else generated them. I didn't generate them. Somebody came out. They said, oh, look at this. These were all made up by other people. AI is always very dangerous in that way. It's happening with me, too. They're making, they're having me speak. I speak perfectly. I mean, absolutely perfectly on AI. And I'm, like, endorsing other products and things. It's a little bit dangerous out there. Another piece of news that came out of the interview, I asked him, uh, Liz, about all of the data that's coming in today suggesting that the Fed could raise or cut, rather, interest rates next month before the election, of course. Uh, and he says that he thinks that the Fed might actually have to cut rates next month in order to avoid uh, a calamity in the markets, uh, in the job markets. Uh, so he seems like he's expecting a rate cut when Fed Chair uh, Jerome Powell, someone he's butt head, butted heads with in the past, uh, when he has the FOMC meeting in September. Well, Liz? we sure can see that you enjoy covering President Trump and FOMC meetings. Grady Trimble, it's a it's quite a ride. You've been <laughs> great, Grady. Thank you so much. Appreciate